Let's look at some structural isomers and see if we can determine which is chiral. The molecule octane contains eight carbons. Here are three structural isomers. Which of those is chiral? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible answers for each of the three choices. A, all three are chiral, so all the answers are correct. B, carbon 2 has four different substituents, so the molecule is chiral. Or C, carbon 3 has two unique carbon chains attached, so the molecule is chiral. Think about those for a minute and make a selection. We're trying to determine which of these structural isomers is chiral. And remember, chirality involves non-superimposable mirror images, and that's a very subtle thing. But the basis of chirality is an asymmetric center, so a carbon with four different things attached. And that's the key. That's what we have to look for in our molecules. It's much too difficult to draw the molecules and try to imagine them superimposing in their mirror images. The thing that we can really latch on to is a carbon with four things attached. So in molecule A, if you look through all the carbons, each one has at least two substituents the same. So I haven't drawn the hydrogens, but clearly this carbon has three hydrogens. This carbon has three. This carbon here has two carbon methyl groups that are exactly the same. This carbon here has two hydrogens. So you can go through these and look, and you'll find that there's only one carbon among these that has four different things attached, and it's the second carbon in answer B. This carbon here has a hydrogen. Now that I've drawn that in, you can see a carbon attached, a two-carbon chain, and a four-carbon chain all attached. Four different things attached to one carbon makes that asymmetric center and lends chirality to the entire molecule. So the correct answer here is B.